Chapter 2 This is another vision that Isaiah son of Amos saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem. In the last days, the temple of the Lord in Jerusalem will become the most important place on earth. People from all over the world will go there to worship. Many nations will come and say, Come, let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, to the temple of the God of Israel. There he will teach us his ways, so that we may obey him. For in those days the Lord's teaching and his word will go out from Jerusalem. The Lord will settle international disputes. All the nations will beat their swords into plowshares, and their spears into pruning hooks. All wars will stop, and military training will come to an end. Come, people of Israel, let us walk in the light of the Lord. The Lord has rejected the people of Israel because they have made alliances with foreigners from the east who practice magic and divination, just like the Philistines. Israel has vast treasures of silver and gold, and many horses and chariots. The land is filled with idols. The people bow down and worship these things they have made. So now everyone will be humbled and brought low. The Lord cannot simply ignore their sins. Crawl into caves in the rocks. Hide from the terror of the Lord and the glory of His majesty. The day is coming when your pride will be brought low, and the Lord alone will be exalted. In that day the Lord Almighty will punish the proud, bringing them down to the dust. He will cut down the tall cedars of Lebanon and the mighty oaks of Bashan. He will level the high mountains and hills. He will break down every high tower and wall. He will destroy the great trading ships and all the small boats in the harbor. The arrogance of all people will be brought low. Their pride will lie in the dust. The Lord alone will be exalted. Idols will be utterly abolished and destroyed. When the Lord rises to shake the earth, His enemies will crawl with fear into holes in the ground. They will hide in caves in the rocks from the terror of the Lord and the glory of His majesty. They will abandon their gold and silver idols to the moles and bats. They will crawl into caverns and hide among the jagged rocks at the tops of cliffs. In this way, they will try to escape the terror of the Lord and the glory of His majesty as He rises to shake the earth. Stop putting your trust in mere humans. They are as frail as breath. How can they be of help to anyone?